Look along the quiz master, indeed I do, Ashid. And that is because we've got something very special today, ladies and gents. We have got the first, and probably not the last. Who wants to be a saucy... Uh, so, who... Who, who wants to win cash dollar money on Sunday with sauce? <laughs> I'll think of a better name, I promise. I promise, right. So, ladies and gents, the game is simple. Jim has just got 15 uh, questions to answer to win himself 10 cash dollar money pounds. But that is not only the, the, the only thing he can win during this journey. If Jim gets to the first lifeline at just five questions correct, he can select anyone in the chat to put in a timeout for five minutes. At 10 correct questions, Jim wins himself a gifted sub to chat. A gifted sub to the chat. And at that 15 questions correct mark, ladies and gents, baby, 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 Jim will win 10 cash dollar dollar money pounds. Okay, so Jim, I'm going to run through some rules with you here, sir. Okay. You are not allowed to use Google. You are not allowed to have the chat open in front of you when asked questions, okay. unless... Let me collect the chat, unless I ask for the audience, yeah? Exactly. So chat, I need you here as well. If Jim uses his love line, which is this middle one, that is ask chat. And whatever you guys decide in a poll, that is the, that is, that is the chance that Jim will get. 50-50, Jim, as you know, will remove two random wrong answers, leaving you with the two, with one correct answer and one remaining random answer. Your phone a friend is anyone you choose, or you can ask the host, which is me, Mr. Raw Sauce. Do you understand these rules, Jim? No. Ladies and gents, run over to our first question. Jim, for 100 pounds on the game, not in real life. According to legend, William tells shot an arrow at which fruit on his son's head? Is it A, melon, B, kumquat, C, peach, or is it D, Apple. Uh, can I can I get the, the can I get B reset again, please? Sorry. I don't, I don't okay, I'll go over I'll go over the options again for you, Jim. Uh, is it A melon? Yeah. B kumquat. Oh, oh, okay. C peach or D apple. Uh, I'm going with D apple. Yeah, this might be quick. Okay, Jim, is that your final answer? It is my final answer. Jim, that is correct. You have won yourself $100 and got up to question two. Oh, my God. We've now got a timer. This is a nightmare. Shit, shit, what? Question two. What is the name for a sailing vessel with parallel twin hulls? <laughs> is it A, catamaran, B, cataract, C, catapult, or D, catalog? I'm going to go with A, catamaran. He's going A, catamaran. Is that your final answer? Yes, that is my final answer. I'm not going to lie, the time limit's put a lot of pressure on. It really has, Jim. I didn't know it was there. <laughs> that is correct. You have got two questions correct. Just three questions away from that love line. What type of creature is a pintail? Is it A, a duck? B, a monkey? C, a snake? Or D, a fish? Don't forget you got a love lines as well, Jim. You've still got phone a friend 50-50 uh, and ask the chat. I'm actually going to use 50-50 right here. Are you sure, Jim? Not, yeah, I'm not too okay. sure. Okay, computer removed two random wrong answers, leaving one random wrong answer and one remaining correct answer. So you've got A, duck, and C, snake still going? Uh, C, snake. Are you sure, Jim? Yes. You want to lock that in? Yes. Not right, it's been an honor. Oh, Jim! Oh, my God! Oh, bruh! Ladies and gents, Jim has been eliminated. <laughs> oh, my God, Jim. Oh, it's been fun. It's been fun. It has been fun, Jim. Hopefully, there's a second chance for you to come back uh, on today's show. But for now, Jim, you are not a saucy bugger. Okay. Apologies. Thank you for joining Thank on the show. Guys. Thank you. Cheers, okay. Jim. Hello. Uh, hello, is that Mr. Roy McGuigan? Yeah, speaking. Uh, hi, uh, Mr. McGuigan. Uh, it's uh, Dylan calling from Who Wants to Be a Saucy Bugger. How are you today? I'm really good. And I've been really excited. I've been watching for a long time. Long time fan. Just excited to be here. I think, you know, I'm going to have some great fun. I've got some knowledge. I might be able to get through here. I might be able to do okay. That's brilliant. I'm, I'm glad you got enthusiasm on your side because we've had two contestants on today. Only one's walked away with a prize and it wasn't a very good one. Who did the explorer Stanley famously meet on the shore of Lake... 
Tang Tanganyika. Bit of a tough start. Was it A, David Dimpleby? <laughs> B, David Bauer? C, David Beckham? Or D, David Livingston? Um, can you repeat the start of the question, please? I can indeed. This is the first question, so you do get unlimited time. Who did the explorer Stanley famously meet on the shore of Lake Tanganyika? I'm not going to lie, this is the toughest question we've had, let alone the toughest it's, starting it's, question. It's, it's got to be between A and D, hasn't it? Because it's not Beckham. It was, and who was the other David? Who was B David Bauer. Bauer. Well, it's not Bowie, so it's A or D. Okay. I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to gamble, and I'm going to go A. You're going to gamble on A? Yeah. This is for one correct answer. Are you sure? Right. I, 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 David Dimpleby, was it, or something like that? David Dimbleby, yes. Dimbleby. He sounds like, you know, someone that might be found on the edge of a lake. So, yeah, sure, why not? A, final answer. Final answer. It's locked in. Quiggler, it's incorrect. No. It's incorrect. Already. All right, Already. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. I, I hold, really on, hold on, hold on. Chat, do we give him another shot? <laughs> okay, let's go. What is enclosed with a letter when an S-A-E is requested? Is it A, an envelope, B, a check, C, an invoice, or D, a lottery ticket? Envelope, final answer. It's final answer, envelope. That is correct, Wiggly. You are on the yes. board. That is one correct answer. Let's go. Okay, the timer now starts, though, so we're on a bit of a time limit. That's fine. What is the collective word commonly used for keys, flowers, bananas, or grapes? Is it A, a cluster, B, a bundle, C, a batch, or D, a bunch? D, a bunch. Final answer. Locked it in. That is correct, Wiggly. You know it is, and so do I. Next question. Which of these words is the title given to the Emperor of Japan? Is it A. Mikado, B. Shah, C. Kaiser, or D. Tassar? Bit of a tough one there. That is a tough one. Um... Don't forget you have got lower lines. Could you repeat the question? Which of these words is a title given to the Emperor of Japan? A. Mikado, B. Shah, C. Kaiser, or D. Tassar? I'd like to phone a friend. I'd like to phone Jimmer. Okay, Jimmer. Uh, if you're if, if you're able to hear this, Jimmer, uh, I don't know how to add, but... Uh, uh, we've only got 14 seconds. Whatever Jimmer says. He hasn't said anything. He said nothing. Can I go ask an audience? Can I go ask the audience? Uh... Astrid said A. A, go, final answer. That is correct, Astrid's just saved your bacon. Just saved my bacon. This time is going to kill us. This time is going to kill us. Whew. Veal is the flesh of which young animal? Cow, is it final I? answer. Say that again. I think if cow's there, it's cow, final answer. So it's A, lamb, B, piglet, or C, calf, D, duckling. So you're going for calf, calf yeah? Calf, final answer, yeah. Quigley, you have reached the low flow. Congratulations. Oh, God, you have earned great. yourself a lockout. But now it gets tense. Which of these small which of these is a small currant cake? Is it A a Grimsby Gatto? B a Chelsea bun? C a Liverpool pastry? Or D an Arsenal scone? So we're looking for a small currant cake. I'm torn between Arsenal and Chelsea. Mm -hmm. I've never really heard of an Arsenal scone. Okay. Was it a Chelsea bun? Chelsea bun, yeah. I feel like... It, I, I'm, I'm just going to go Chelsea, and I'm just going to go for it. Final answer. Final answer. We've locked it in. Quigley, that is oh, correct. Oh my God, this is Stunning. amazing. Which specific people... Work in an area nicknamed nicked, nicked, nicknamed a manor. Is it A, a district nurse, B, a milk delivery man, C, a parish councillor, or D, a police constable? That's a hard one, isn't it? 
So which specific people work in an area nicknamed a manor? District nurse, milk delivery men, parish councillors, or police constables? Um, what life funds do I have left? 50-50. 50-50, use it. You've been left with milk delivery men and police constables. Police constable, final answer. Final answer. It's locked in. I've had a great time. It's been enjoyable. You're not going anywhere, Quigley. You've just <laughs> got up to seven. Oh my god, this is getting tense. What a feeling. What type of creature is a Plymouth rock? Is it A, a chicken, B, a pig, C, a horse, or D, a goat? Right. So I've heard this recently. Uh, okay. And I think it said the Plymouth Rock. I believe that's what they came, the Americans came over to and they ended up on the Plymouth Rock. Yes. And I believe they took with them um, some animals. And one of the animals they found on the Plymouth Rock, I believe, was a chicken. And I think they named that chicken the Plymouth Rock Chicken. And then that breed has been called Plymouth Rock. I'm not sure how accurate this is, but that's what I think it is. So chicken, final answer. Final answer. Yeah. No more remaining lifelines. But only three correct answers away from the next halfway house. Chicken's locked in. Quigley, that is correct. You are not going anywhere at the moment. Brilliant play. Shout out to the next question, though, unfortunately, because of this knob jockey timer. Yep. The TV drama series, City Central, highlights which profession? Is it A, medicine, B, accountancy, C, police, or D, social work? called city central city central apologies this is uh american questions <laughs> well, I, got, I gotta tell you that it's not going to be an accountant because right that's just going to be a really boring show um and then what have we got left we've got nurse M medicine got social... police or social work police or social police make good drama shows it's in the city it's central oh, i don't see the police being central all the time but medicine um, oh. right police please final answer fuck it it'll be a good drama wouldn't it Police is locked in. <laughs> Quigley, that is correct. Oh, my God. I just want to say thank you to whoever's looking out for me up there. Uh, this one's for you. Brilliant play. Really is brilliant play. And Ozzy's bought my fucking cable. What was the name of the absent-minded professor in Herge's Tintin stories? Was it A, Professor Brainstorm, B, Professor Trick, C, Professor Calculus, Calculus or D, Professor Stans? You know, I don't, I've got to be honest, I've not really watched Tintin. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you, if you have. Um, um, I, I have like I will go with, um, I feel like it's a children's thing. Yeah. And I feel like Professor Calculus, being an American question, Calculus is quite big in the curriculum. Therefore, I'm going to go Calculus, Professor Calculus, final answer. Professor Calculus. Locked in. Quigley, you have just won yourself a oh gifted sub to chat. Oh my god, congratulations, congratulations. This is, this is a great feeling, I'm doing it for chat. That what is, was, this next one's for you. What was the first name of the poet Lord Byron? Is it A, George, B, Alfred, C, Frederick, or D, Henry? This is so annoying, mate, because I know Byron. I know Byron. Oh my God! First name of Byron. Yes. Byron's first name. Lord Byron's first name. The poet. George, Alfred, Frederick, or Henry. George Byron. Final answer. Are you sure you don't want a couple of seconds to think? I'm, I'm sure. I mean, I'm either right or I'm wrong. It's locked in. Quigley, that is correct. Oh my, word. Oh my God! This is is this guy genius? Byron's one of the best poets, chat, honestly. Chat, this is getting emotional now. What kind of company was founded by Victor Galanskis? Banking, auctioneering, publishing, or brewing? Is Victor uh, Galanskis? Galanskis. I'm just going to gamble. I'm going to go auction. Final answer. Are you sure? You've still got 30 auction seconds left on the clock. Auction or bank. It's got to be one of the two. I've got no lifelines left. I know. I feel like it's going to be a money-related question because auction and banking, you know, don't think they're a million miles apart. 
I, don't, I mean, they are, aren't they? They're completely different. But for some reason, mm -hmm. I don't. I'm going to go auction, final answer. Auction, final answer. Yeah. It's been a pleasure. This is for 12 correct, no, 11 correct questions. Auction is locked in. Quigley, I'm so sorry. It was C it's publishing. Okay. It's it was been a, C. It's been a great experience. Uh, I just want to say thank you to Astrid for saving me. Really, you know, I wouldn't have made it this far without her. I'd like to gift myself to Astrid if possible. Um, uh, we can sort that out most definitely. You, you, you aren't walking away empty-handed. You, of course, have won your gifted sub. Uh, and, of course, you've won uh, a five-minute timeout for a chat user of your choice. Uh, you've been an absolutely brilliant contestant, Grigler. Thank you very much for coming Thank on, you. sir. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Good luck. Uh, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Wow, what a contestant, ladies and gents. Quigley is, in fact, the legend. He walked away with a chat ban for someone of his choice and a gifted sub that he's chosen to give to Ashford.